my channel, I make DIY wedding tip and lifestyle videos. Today I'll be showing you three wedding DIYs. It is very common, especially at your rehearsal dinner, to be giving gifts and letters to your friends and family who are there to celebrate with you. For my wedding, I wanted to give my parents a keepsake that was a little bit more sentimental than just a written letter on a piece of paper. So I wrote all of my letters on acrylic sheets that could be used as decoration after the wedding. For this video, I came up with three different DIY options that you could use for your wedding day. They range from wood to acrylic and then also something you can print out. The beauty of these DIYs is you do not need good handwriting or Cricut to create them. Let's get into the DIYs. This first DIY, I'm going to be creating this customized necklace holder. You will first need a jewelry box which can be found on Amazon or your local craft store. The first step is to measure your jewelry box. Then we're going to head over to canva.com and create a canvas size the size of your jewelry box. In my case it is three and a half by three and a half inches. Once in Canva I had my background changed to a different color other than white. In the elements tab I looked for two different heart shapes, one to use for text and one to use as the actual holder. From there I changed the color of the heart to white and resized it to fit my canvas. Then I added my text, I changed the font and resized it. The font that I am using is called Moon time. I fixed the line spacing to make sure there'll be enough room for the necklace to hang once this is printed out. Then I added my name and adjusted the text until I liked it. From there I downloaded it to my computer and printed it on heavy cardstock. Once it was printed I cut out the heart. You could also use a Cricut to do a print and cut to make a more professional look. Then I added slits to the side of the heart to attach the necklace. Then I attached the necklace to the heart adding tape to the back to secure the necklace in place. To decorate my box I used some dried flowers and hot glue to create a clear wax seal. I added some ribbon and attached it to the box. This is a simple DIY why? This would be great for anyone you are giving jewelry to for your wedding day. For our next DIY, I'll be writing my letter on a wooden heart. I found this one at Walmart for $4, but I've seen similar ones at the dollar store. I actually used the back side of this heart because the front side had a line design I didn't like as much. I started by painting the wooden heart with acrylic paint. You could either use a wedding color or a neutral that would work with the decor in the house of the person who is receiving it. You might want to do a few coats of paint, like I did. Before I started painting, I measured where on my heart I wanted text. While the paint was drying, I made my template on Canva.com. I started by making my canvas the size of where I wanted the text on my heart, which was 5 by 5 inches. From there, I went to the the elements tab and use the lines to help create a border which will give me a guideline for when I print. From there I added the text I wanted for my heart. For the sake of the video I used a poem I found online. Then I changed the font to a straight font that would be easy for me to mimic with my handwriting. From there I went to spacing and I changed the letter spacing to 150. You could even go higher than that. Then I adjusted the text to fit within the borders of my canvas. Then I downloaded and printed. Flipping over a paper I used a dark lead pencil and drew all over the text. From there I could cut a square and centered it on my heart, taped it, and then traced the text. This will create an imprint to to the other side. I removed the paper and then once I was done I used a sharpie and copied the pencil impression. I recommend letting your paint dry for at least a day so that your sharpie doesn't get all messed up and to also use brand new sharpies or even better a paint pen. After that you can erase any leftover pencil marks and you have a sentimental piece of decor to give as a wedding gift. This final DIY is what I did for my wedding to give letters to my parents and grandparents. My husband and I actually wrote our vows on them as well and read them on our honeymoon. I got four by six pieces of acrylic from Amazon to use for this DIY. Again I started in Canva with a canvas size the size of my acrylic sheet. Use the element tab to add lines to the outline border for when I go to print. Then I added my text. For my actual wedding, I didn't use a poem from online, but wrote letters out in a document and copied them over. Then I changed the font to a straight font that would be easy for me to mimic with my handwriting. From there, I went to spacing and changed the letter spacing to 150. You can even go higher than that. Then I adjusted the text to fit within my borders. From there, I downloaded and printed. I took off the paper protection from my acrylic sheet and lined up my acrylic. I used an oil-based pen and copied the text, only doing every three lines so that the lines wouldn't get smudged before they dry. Handwriting wasn't the best because it was hard to do and film at the same time. After I finished writing, I put the acrylic sheet on a dark surface to check for any smudging and I used rubbing alcohol and a q-tip to erase all the mistakes. Making sure to turn over the acrylic sheet to its backside, I used a paint that matched our color scheme while also contrasting the paint pen and painted in small light strokes to the edge of the acrylic, then filling in the middle with the heavier strokes. I let that dry between coats and added a layer of Mod Podge to the back to prevent the paint from scratching. This is obviously my favorite DIY of the three because I used it for my own wedding and I think it's just a cute touch and can be used on a shelf for styling or anything like that. I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. Let me know which is your favorite in the comments down below. Please let me know if there are any other video ideas you'd love to see from me. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.